osmosis. Osmosis can be considered as a physical process as well as this can be considered as a biological process also. Okay, if you study the process of uh, osmosis in the subject of biology, then it will be called as a biological process. And if you study the same thing, that is osmosis, in the subject heading of chemistry, in that case, this will be called as a physical process. Actually, this is a physical process, but in the subject of biology, this is called as a biological process. So, osmosis is a biological process. And this happens for what? This happens for a solution. Solutions means where so, uh, solvent is there, again, solute is there. A mixture of solute and solvent. This is called solution. This is known to you. And transfer of what takes place? Transfer of solvent particles takes place. Say there is a solution of water. In, in most of the cases, water is the solvent. Other liquid may also be the solvent. But in most of the cases, okay, usually water is... Uh, means in the discussion of osmosis, no, usually water is considered as the solvent. Okay, so there, so suppose there is a solution and where water is the solvent and other substance is the solute. And the, there is a container. Okay, and inside that container there is one semi-permeable membrane. Semi-permeable membrane, this is also called selectively permeable membrane. Through that membrane or across that membrane, only solvent particles can pass through. Can pass, okay. Through that membrane, means semi-permeable membrane or selectively permeable membrane, only solvent can pass, not the solute. So if this be the case, then from the dilute solution to the concentrated solution there will be movement of solvent particles and this process is known as osmosis this is different from diffusion in case of diffusion process there is no membrane okay and diffusion process occurs for liquids as well as for gases but osmosis this is considered only for liquids okay and um, you will find the application of this osmosis process, this presence of this osmosis process in case of living cells. Means in the study of biology, especially uh, cell physiology, the volume of the cell, the shape of the cell, tiger pressure of the plant cells, tiger pressure, okay, T U R G O R, tiger pressure. Tiger pressure of the plant cells, I have already mentioned shape of the cells, volume of the cells, then swelling of the cells, shrinking of the cells, okay, this everything, then nutrients uptake, then waste product removal from the cells, everything, all these things happen with the help of this osmosis process. And there is one term in the study of osmosis, you will find that term that is called osmotic pressure. And that osmotic pressure is proportional to the concentration of the solid particles. Okay. That osmotic pressure is proportional to the concentration, not concentration gradient. Only concentration, okay. Concentration of the solid particles. Osmotic pressure is proportional to that one. Okay. So these are the, and uh, application, uh, if you talk about application then, uh, if you uh, know about water purifiers, domestic water purifiers, then you, you can see uh, that remains printed RO technology, RO for reverse osmosis. I'm not going to discuss anything about reverse osmosis uh, technology here, but reverse osmosis is a kind of osmosis process. With the help of that process, reverse osmosis, uh, contaminants and the impurities are removed from the water, and that way water is purified. Though there is, a, there you will find the use of UV rays also. Okay, but I am uh, now focusing on only uh, osmosis process. 
Okay. So, uh, I think I have already discussed each and everything about this physical process which is named as osmosis. Okay. So, in the study of biology, again, in case of dialysis, uh, patients with kidney failures, dialysis are done. So, in case of dialysis, osmosis, this process is employed. Okay. This process is employed in the uh, blood of the patient. Okay. To remove unwanted things. So, if you are a student of medical science, then you know this thing. In the case of dialysis process, dialysis process is done for patients with kidney failures. Okay. So, for that process, osmosis is also used. So, that there are actually numerous uh, applications of osmosis process. Uh, this is actually uh, a topic of a school level. Okay. Means class 10 or class 12. Again, uh, in your higher studies also, you find the same thing. Because this is very useful. Okay. Anyway, so this was all about osmosis, which is mostly uh, I have discussed here uh, in the case of living cells or biological cells or cell physiology. Okay. Anyway, so this, uh, uh, this was all about osmosis. Okay. So this is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.